bonjour, bienvenidos, benvenuti, welcome to the Music Polyglot channel. Today we're going to have a look at Vanilla Baby by Billy Martin. But if you, my friend, if you are a professional player or a very advanced guitarist, that was all you needed to know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on that like button if you want tabs, description below, and go get them, Tiger. For the rest of us, let's break everything down in a close-up. So the first thing to talk about is that we have a capo on the second fret and that the tuning is drop D. That means that obviously without the capo, you tune the low sixth string down to a D. Okay, so you do that first, drop D and then capo on two. So we have four main picking patterns. The first one is used on the intro and the verses, and it goes like this. Slow. The first thing to talk about is the right hand. On the right hand, we're going to we're going to be using three fingers only: the thumb, index, and middle finger. And uh, the pattern is going to go like this. I'll play it on one chord really slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, the first thing to notice is that the thumb and the middle finger play at the same time, right? So they're always going. And the second element is the index that plays the open D string all the time in between your other notes. So. And we have four chords. Chord number one is an F major chord. Now, because of your detuning, your bass note is going to be on the third fret, starting from the capo, right? Third fret of the low E string. You're going to be playing the open D, as we said, with the index. Of course, it's open to the capo. And you're going to be playing the G string on the second fret, again, always to the capo with the index. So those three notes. With the pattern. Right, so you have to add your ring finger onto the G string here and then off again. That's chord number one, that's your F major. Then you change to a C major. The only thing you need to do is to drop your middle finger from the sixth to the fifth string, and it's the same pattern. Then chord number three, we have a B minor, and for this you need to just take the index of the second fret of the A string. And that's adding your middle finger on the second fret of the G string. Again. And then you drop down to a B flat. You add the second finger and then the third. Okay, so one more time slowly. Cool. And the second time, it's almost exactly the same. The only tiny little difference is on the first chord, that instead of going, 
it goes. Right, so instead of starting with the index on the second fret of the G string, it starts with the ring finger on the third fret of the G string. So again, on the first time it'll be... And on the second time it'll be... So for the pre-choruses, you have this. Slowly. Okay, so we have a D nine open, but what we really play is thumb on the bass note, so on the D, then strings two and three. And then again. But on the second time you hammer on with the pinky on the third fret of the B string and then play the open first string. So, so just that passage goes. And again, three, four, one, two, and cool. Then you have again bass and index and middle, so from the top. And again, and again. One more time. Then you add the ring finger on the third fret of the D string. Slowly. Let me play you the chorus so that you see what's going on. Three, four. Okay, so let's look at those chords. Chord number one, B flat six, and you play, this is the pattern, check it out. Okay, and again, thumb chord, thumb index, thumb middle. And then you play a thumb chord on the third fret. And then the pattern again, the full pattern on an open A7. And there instead of playing the middle finger again on the B string, you actually move back to a B flat six immediately and you play a sequence of four chords, thumb, index, middle, thumb, but the second time around, the thumb goes on the D string. So, okay. Then you repeat the same pattern, but with the bass note one fret further up. So from the first fret, you go up to the second. And then again on a C. Okay, that's really important. So from that A7, we have Here goes. And then back onto the A7 with the full pattern twice. And then you repeat the same thing as the second time in the chorus. Finally, you have a bridge. Let me play you that bridge. Three, four.
Okay, so as you can see, it's the same picking pattern as in the choruses, but you start on that D add four. So that's the fifth fret from the capo always. Right, same pattern, so thumb and then thumb index and middle at the same time. Then thumb index, thumb middle. Then thumb and the whole chord again. Then thumb chord on the open A7. And then that repeats. And then you move on to the first fret, so that's the B flat 6, and you play the pattern. Then thumb chord on C. Then on A7. Then the chord, the pattern again on B flat 6. C. And then you repeat the pattern three times on the open A7. And the last time you just go thumb chord. Three, four. At which point it goes back to the original pattern and plays that as an outro. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments below. And you can get a free lesson on this song by checking the description below. There we have it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I check and reply to everything. And if you would like a free lesson on this tune, you only need to contact me through my website, which I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're after tabs or sheet music, all that is available on my Patreon page, link in the description. Don't forget to click on that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and I will see you next time. Hasta la próxima, arrivederci, au revoir.